Hello everyone and welcome to the Active for Life online studio. Um, today we are going to be doing a full body mobility workout. So that means less focus on a bunch of reps and strengthening, more focus on gentle movements that we move along with our breath. So I want you to really focus during our movements today that as you move out, you're breathing out, as you're moving in, you're breathing in and really connecting that mind-body experience. So we're gonna start, of course, with our breathing exercises today. So find yourself your spot on your mat, get yourself good and grounded, and arms out at the side. We're gonna start with three deep breaths in, bringing our arms up over our head. So breathing in, and breathing out. Let that air fill you up as you breathe in. And push everything out as you breathe out. Breath fuels you, brings your attention inwards. Allowing you to relax. And we're gonna just lift the right arm up. And over and back and the left arm up and over and back once more on each side All right, we're gonna find our spot at the head of our mat for a couple sun salutations to stretch our bodies out and get it ready for the day. And breathe in, coming up. Breathing out, forward folding. Reaching down to the ground, letting it stretch out your lower back. Breathing in, come halfway up. Breathing out, come back down. Pushing just a little farther. Breathing in, come halfway up. Breathing out, come back down and walk it forward into downward dog. Downward dog, we're gonna stretch it out, stretch it through those calves and hamstrings. Bend at the knees if you need. 
back into full stand. Deep breath in, arms up, and again, coming down. This time we're gonna come into downward dog. We're gonna hold this pose here for a moment and then we're gonna step our foot forward into a nice low lunge. Now from our low lunge position, we're gonna do a couple things. We're going to push it forward, stretching out that back legs, hip flexors, and then breathing in, come up, arms up, and then leaning back just slightly into a low crescent lunge. Holding here for three deep breaths. And then drop one hand to the inside of your knee, raising the other hand up above for a nice little spinal twist. Three breaths here. Back up into the crescent lunge for two deep breaths. Down into your twist for two deep breaths. One more, reach up, one deep breath, and then come down, connecting both hands to the ground, and bring that back leg around. We're gonna do a couple moves to just stretch out that back leg. We're gonna rainbow it up and over, coming back and forth to each side of the other leg. Stretching it out, moving it around. And bringing it in. You can take a moment, sit back in child's pose. And then come up to tabletop, up to downward dog. Pushing up, stretching it out, stepping the other leg forward into that low lunge. So same rotation here again. We're gonna get comfortable in that low lunge, pushing forward. We're gonna come up into a nice crescent lunge, arms up above the head, breathing in for three deep breaths. After those three breaths, coming into a nice twist for three. Back up into your crescent for two. Down into your twist. for a moment. All right, we're gonna move into a plank set. So in your plank position, either on your forearms and knees or up on your hands and toes, whichever one works best for you. You're gonna come into your planking position 
You're gonna breathe here for three deep breaths. On that third deep breath, you're gonna roll over into a side plank position. So you're coming up, bringing your hand up, and we're gonna do three little twists, coming, threading that hand underneath the other one, and bringing it back up three times. That's two. After the third, we're gonna come back into our plank position. back to plank for another three deep breaths and then we're going to repeat on the other side. Up to the other side, reaching up and twisting under. Here we're going to do a breaststroke. So we're going to go for about 10 of these, however it feels comfortable for you. Feet flat on the ground, bring your chest down lower, arms up at 90 degrees at your head to start. You're going to extend your back up, swim forward like you're doing the breaststroke, and come back down. Coming up, breast stroking forward, getting that full mobility through your shoulders, and down. This is helping strengthen the back and the shoulders. Four. Nice and slowly as you breathe again, breathing in as you come up, out as you stroke around. I believe that's six. Seven. Keep that core tight. Eight. Nine. One more, and then we're gonna roll over onto our back for a couple of core workouts. Relax it. I'm gonna do a little bit of a spine stretch, twisting. Any spinal stretches are always completely optional. They're not comfortable for everyone. All right. your back, finding your comfortable position on the floor there. I'm going to do another little twist for myself here. Got a lot of tension in that lower back right now. All right, so we're going to come into lying on our back. We're going to bring our legs up into a tabletop like position. And we're going to do some bicycles. So we're just going to extend that leg fully and bring it back up and extend that other leg all the way out and bring it back up. And we're going to do about 10 of those in total. So when you're ready, bringing one leg down, breathing out and in, out. Make sure you're keeping your core tight and your lower back pressed down into the ground as much as possible. 
not letting those knees drift forward or backwards to your chest. Two more, one on each side. And let them relax down. All right, one more for you. We're gonna sit up, however that's comfortable for you. We're gonna do some Russian twists again, a little bit more spinal twisting. So we're gonna do about 10 of these in total. So Russian twists, legs out in front of you. You're gonna be in a boat pose like position, arms up, and we're just going to be twisting at the waist. So. Find your balance position. If you can't balance there, you can put your heels down. But if you can, bring that those legs up and get into that balance position. Hands together, elbows out. We're just gonna twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we're gonna lay it back down for some stretch. All right, one leg on top of the other bent knee. I want you to grab that leg, pull it back. We're gonna stretch out through the glutes there first. You roll it around, move it, explore it. When you're stretching, you want to find that really good spot and it might not be the first position you land in. So move it around, figure out where tight spots really are. And then uncross, let that leg drop and switch sides. Pulling the other leg in. Feel that stretch through the glutes. Letting it relax. And letting it go. Rolling onto one side, you want to try and grab your ankle or the bottom of your pants, pulling it in so you're stretching through that hip flexor. And switch over to the other side. Pulling that other leg in as close to your backside as you can. Stretching through that hip flexor. You can pull the leg back a bit, whatever you need to do to get that stretch. And coming back to center. Coming up to sitting legs in front of you. We're going to do a little forward fold. We're going to bring our arms up above our heads and then fold forward, reaching to the one side. to stretch a little bit longer please do so always do what feels right for you and that's all for today so i will talk to you tomorrow bye